Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today is another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We're gonna have nasty weather tomorrow and I've gotta get in the woods with the Massey Ferguson 240 and we've gotta get to work. So today we're gonna be working with a couple chainsaws and I'm gonna do a quick review of the Steel MS-170 and this will serve as a review for the Steel MS-170 or the MS-171 if you're considering a homeowner grade chainsaw, a running and gunning chainsaw, saw we're going to talk about it we'll go through it we'll put it to work we'll put it through the paces and i already know it's a great saw so come along as we do a quick review of the steel ms 170. all right Woo! i ain't afraid to work i ain't afraid to play i ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way i ain't afraid of life times like this of my freedom, I'll tell you this well, what you can kiss. We're in the woods. Let's talk about this saw and then I've got to get busy, man. The sun goes down so fast in the winter time here in the woods. So what we have again is a steel MS-170. I've had the MS-170 and the MS-171. The 171 that I had, you know, was basically identical to this saw. It's just kind of a newer looking model. There may be some carburetor differences there. I'm not totally sure. The reason I say that is I had a lot of trouble getting my 171 to start and run appropriately. I took it back to my steel dealer. He said, well, some of them start and run good and some of them, you know, they're just a little harder to start. <laughs> not really something I wanted to hear from my steel dealer. If you work for steel, you probably don't want to hear that either. So this is a 30 cc, around a 30 cc saw. It weighs about 8.7 pounds. With the bar, it probably weighs about 9.2 pounds. So it's a basically a 10 pound saw. This is kind of steel's entry level gas powered saw. Now I've yet to try the electric saw. We're gonna get one of those and we'll do a review on one of those very soon here on the farm vlog because I'm curious myself. I like electric power tools. Whether it translates over into the uh, chainsaw market, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence. So hopefully steel will make me a believer and we'll probably try out some other brands like DeWalt, Steel, and uh, Milwaukee or Makita. So this is the steel ms-170 it can come with a 16 inch bar a 12 inch bar i believe this is a 16 inch bar the chain needs to be tightened just a little bit i've used this saw man i've used this saw for somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four years it's been a little workhorse for me it's been a great saw as you can tell this isn't the look of a brand new shiny saw when i watch a review on youtube or anywhere i want to watch a review of a guy that's been using this saw so over the past three to four years this saw has been an absolute rock star. I have not started it today. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten our chain up. We're going to get it all filled up with bar oil and lube. We'll show you how all that works and we're going to start it for the first time for you guys to show you just how easy and how good this saw starts. It's an easy tug. In other words, my wife who's 120 pounds can tug it and start it. So it's an easy start if you've got shoulder issues or something like that. If you're a smaller person that's just not really strong or you're not used to using a chainsaw, in my opinion, Opinion, this is probably the saw for you that steel has to offer now I'm not getting paid to do this review I'm just showing you something that I think is cool the project that we're working on today before we even start working with the saw here I'll tell you about the project that we're working on today let's grab the camera all right so we plugged our way down here we're probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a mile from the house this is our Massey Ferguson 240 tractor it's like a 1986 model been totally restored great tractor I like having cool fun tools to use around the farm we use this as our hay raking and bush hogging type tractor where we are is down by our waterfall area. And if you want to skip ahead, you can skip ahead till you see me with the saw in my hand. 
This is our waterfall area. We're cleaning this up. I've got a big brush pile already started here. I got down and did a little bit of work yesterday and I thought, you know what? I should take you guys and do a quick review. So if you look, it's all cleared out and pretty down here by the creek. But if you look back here, it's not. There's a lot of scraggly old trees. I call them scraggly trees. So what we're gonna do is get in here with this MS-170 and we're gonna clean up this debris, this mess, and we're gonna pile it all up on the, uh, on the fire pile right there. My trail to get down in here is very tight. As you can see, I've been running around this tree right over here and I've clipped it <laughs> a couple times with the gator. So we'd like to be able to get a pickup truck down here if we could, that way folks could camp out. I've got friends that like to come and hang out and camp. So that's our goal for the day. All right, if you're a toolophile, get ready. This is called the big tool rack. This is an awesome tool rack for storing your tools, hauling them around. This thing is rated at 100 pounds. I've jumped up on here, I'm nearly 300 pounds. It's pretty stout. And this is what we're carrying all our tools and we can throw our firewood in here too. But we're not cutting firewood today. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I fill up with fuel is I'm gonna get my fuel tank slash toolbox. I'll post a link to this guy in the video description. I can't post a link for you to purchase uh, MS-170 in the video description because they don't sell them online. So we'll pop this guy out. We'll, this thing has a little tool compartment and place for files and all that stuff. We'll pop out our scrinch. Also, let's talk about the toolbox slash fuel tank. So this is my chainsaw gas and this is my bar oil. This has a little safety device but it's not like your safety devices that you typically see on a fuel can this slides back drops right in the fuel tank and when it's full it just stops automatically something awesome that i really like here on the farm great christmas gift idea for that outdoorsman in your house so and so is this really um, we picked up our steel at a local ace hardware and what I'm doing right there is I loosen these two bolts and I'll go right up here and there is a set screw right there. I guess you'd call it a set screw. What I wanna do is tighten this chain up just a little bit and that's probably good. If you look right here, we don't want it too tight. It might be a little bit loose, might bring it another half turn, but anyway, it's adjusted right here. So you get the full, full rigmarole here, you get the full, description of what it's really like to run this saw, which I think a review should be like that. We'll snug this down, but what we'll do, we'll only just snug it down. So one of the guys at the chainsaw shop said, you know what the best thing you can do with this? I said, what? He said, cut that off <laughs> and leave this about that long because what happens is you can tighten these guys down too far and you can strip everything out so you just want to put it snug hand tight you don't have to go gorilla tight and when you're tightening it you should pull up on your bar so your bar is in the upward position now you'll see steel is upside down right here so i flip this bar every time i sharpen my chain or every time i put a new chain in it so that the bar wears evenly as i cut Let's fire it up. Before we even think about firing this saw up, I always put safety gear on. It's a habit. It has to be a habit because it is a must. How many people get injured out in the woods or on the farm or running chainsaws when they could have easily prevented it with some chainsaw chaps and a nice face shield and helmet. Now I know what you're thinking. I met a guy in the hospital that had a big scar and a blind spot in that eye right there. You know why? Because the chainsaw kicked back and hit him in the eye. He had safety glasses on. You need a face shield, guys. So think about that. That's another awesome Christmas gift. If I bought a guy a chainsaw for Christmas, I'm gonna buy him safety gear so I don't have to go to the hospital with him. So this is gonna be my first pull here and we're gonna take our steel and we're gonna put it all the way down. We're actually gonna lock our chain brake and we're gonna put this all the way down Pull the trigger, go to full choke, all the way down. This is how you start a steel product. Now, we'll put this down on the ground and we'll give her a tug until it fires. There we go, we got it to fire. We're gonna click it to the high idle position. We're gonna do it again. Put our foot in there, there we go. Now, we're good to go, we'll start it back up. 
It's not cooperating today. There we go. <laughs> We'll set that saw down in a place it's not going to set the woods on fire and we'll go ahead and get our safety helmet on and our gloves and we'll probably leave our glasses on and we'll get busy. I also forgot to mention one safety feature, wear steel toe boots and gloves also, okay? And they also make steel timber sports gloves that are designed so when this chain hits them, it pulls little threads out and clogs it up. That's what these chainsaw chaps are designed to do. When they hit, they pull tiny threads out into the bottom of the saw, bind it up, and stop it. Let's get busy. We got a mess. <laughs> Let's talk about all this. I don't know if you can tell, but we cut a whole lot of trees out there. And what we're doing here is just taking out the trees that are all twisty and windy so that the big pretty trees can grow bigger and prettier. So that's what we're doing by thinning all this out. I have got some work ahead of me. So <laughs> don't need the gym today, I need the woods. It's good stuff. Let's go over here and we'll talk about the MS-170 and give you some feedback, tell you what I think might be 
the only real downfalls of this saw and what might be the best part of this saw. We're 45 minutes into using this saw. I'm breaking a sweat and it's 35 degrees outside, man. It is a workhorse. This saw has put me to work. So the number one thing that I like about this saw, the very best thing, is that it's so lightweight. Now you shouldn't be using a chainsaw with one hand, but it's really, really lightweight so it doesn't fatigue your arms. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this saw is that the dogs on it right here, where you grab onto the tree, are not really very, well they're, they're tough, but they're not metal. I would like to see metal dogs on there, but at this price point of a saw, I think you're gonna find yourself looking elsewhere and finding an inferior saw with little doodads on it that might make it look better. So all in all, I've used the Pollen Pro saw that's fairly similar to this. I've used a whole lot of chainsaws here on the farm and I go right back to the MS-170. It's lightweight, you don't have to do a lot of maintenance to it so the average homeowner can use it. You just blow it off when you get done with the air hose and call it good, or you can just tuck it away. Run it out of gas and tuck it away for the winter or for the summer or however you like to do your chainsaw work. So I recommend it. It's an absolutely awesome saw. It lasts, it's proven itself on the farm, and don't trust a guy that does a chainsaw review on a saw that's not dirty. Trust a guy that's using the saw. This is a good machine. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them down there in the video description. I'll post a link to that cool gas can. It's made by Husqvarna. I haven't seen anything like it. I love it. It's my go-to. It goes with me everywhere that my chainsaw goes. And you can see up here we have our Husqvarna 460 Rancher. Great saw also. Already done a review on it. This is the lightweight go-to best homeowner saw that I have found. Cool? Thanks a lot, guys. Please come on back and see me. Pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you can't get in the gym, get in the woods. Get to work. Get that heart pumping. Get strong. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Thank <laughs> you.